Taking advantage of Boston's growth in job opportunities usually requires some education beyond high school. Many people who want to move in that direction need some extra help, which they can find in a program at JVS called Bridges to College. To tell us about the program are one of its graduates, Charmaine Nahar, and the manager of career services, Paige Wetzel. Uh, thank you both very much for being with us. Thanks. Paige, I want to have you start with, I guess, what's at the far end of the bridge, uh, because if people finish this program, maybe they continue their education, but what about the jobs out there? I mean, what, what are the opportunities that, you, that you're focusing on here? There are great opportunities for our graduates once they complete the certificate program, um, both within kind of the startup sector as well as in large biomanufacturing companies. Um, and those are some different types of jobs as well. Students can be manufacturing technicians, working on the line, helping produce medications that eventually go to patients. And they can also be working as lab assistants in some of those small startup companies we see popping up in uh, Kendall Square as well as in the Seaport. Well, when, when people think of the Seaport or Kendall Square, they think of jobs for people who, you know, who have these advanced degrees from elite colleges, and they say, how could I possibly get there? But you're, what you say here is that, well, maybe you don't need that. Yes. Um, our program is able to provide some basic technical skills that allow our clients to do really well supporting those scientists who do have those advanced degrees and are working on amazing, incredible research and discoveries. But all those folks need the assistance of lab assistants to support the lab environment, help them get buffer and media prepared, help them clean glassware um, to keep the daily life of the lab running. Charmaine, what, 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 what do you see yourself doing a, a bit down the line? Uh, actually, uh, from my uh, experience from Quincy College, we, uh, uh, that Paige mentioned, we did all those um, uh, jobs, uh, like skills uh, in our labs, and also we did like uh, pipe, micropipetting, PCR, and also DNA extraction. Uh, so I think we uh, like the students from Quincy College are like a very good hand for scientists to do all the um, advanced techniques they are doing. Uh, so I think we are a very good um, uh, skills uh, person to enter in research field and also in manufacturing field. Now, was this just in labs at the college or did you go to a workplace to learn some things too? Uh, some students got an uh, 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 internship. Uh, if they want to, but the lab setting, the academic lab is very enriched, uh, the Quincy College lab. We have like lots of equipments and lots of methods to learn there. Uh, is there something that you liked learning when you were working in the lab? Yes, uh, I am personally very much interested in doing bacterial transformation. And like no, let me slow down and unpack that. What, what is this exactly you're talking about? Exact, it's like uh, engineering the bacteria to grow whatever you want. Like oh, we engineer uh, E. coli to produce myoglobin in our uh, small, teeny, tiny uh, applicant bioreactor. And we purify the protein and we test it as uh, we get the protein uh, right or not. You know, when I read about people who, who do things like this, I, I see they're also, they're not just making money working in the lab, they're doing things to help people. Do, do you see yourself yes, that way? Yes, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I, I always say I want to be in a place where I can help people, uh, and biotech is like, I can help people and also help myself, like, um, or like earning money, uh, yeah. No, that, that, that's, that's a very good goal. Uh, Paige, w what about the kind of people you can help? Because, uh, you know, Charmaine comes here from another country. Um, you know, people hear about path to college. They, well, you've got to be 18 years old. So, I mean, it sounds like it, it could be different scenarios here too, right? Yeah, we have a wide diversity of folks that enter our program and diverse in all aspects of diversity, I'd say, um, age-wise as well as um, educational background, countries that they're from, whether or not they grew up in the United States. We've had folks as young as 19 and as old as in their 60s come through the program and find it fruitful and successful for them. Now, one of the other things I want to you have a relationship with uh, these companies. So they're not just a place that the students show up at when they're finished with mm -hmm. your program. So explain how that works. You've got a closer contact going on, don't you? 
Yes, absolutely. And that's been really critical to the success of the program overall. Being really well tied in with industry helps make sure we're preparing clients like Charmaine really well for what the employer expects. Um, and also make sure that all of the curriculum we're developing is aligned with what they need and that students are really on par to meet the expectation when they enter the workforce. Charmaine, sure, is there anything you, you say about how this program helped you do what you're doing now at Northeastern? Yes, uh, uh, I came at U.S. in like 2012. Like I was roaming around what to do, but uh, through b bridges uh, to college from Javier's, they, they like smooth uh, my process to go to college. And when I got to uh, enter the college, I, I see how amazing the program is. And after my certification, I finished my associate, and then I am now at Northeastern. So I feel like Bridges to College program fill up the gaps, the education breaks, and it smooths our navigation to, uh, to the college system in the USA. So it's a great program for the immigrants uh, coming from all around the world. So I had very good, uh, like amazing experience with JBS family. Did, did this program help you with your confidence that you can yes, do things? Yes, yes. Yes. What about that page? How, how do you make that work exactly? Yeah, we kind of embed it into all aspects of our program. Confidence building is really important for success in college and the job search and being in the workplace. Confidence is um, a foundational element of all of that. Um, and especially in the job readiness class that I teach prior to students entering college, we work a lot on communication skills, building up the ability to talk about yourself and speak well and be professional while doing that. Sure, I mean, you know, moving to another country and working and living in another language is an accomplishment beyond most of us born here, but I mean, how do you manage it? I mean, what have you learned from this program about how to manage that better? Actually, Bridges to College program is a complex package, like it will, uh, it, uh, uh, it's make us ready for academically, and we, has, uh, we have a, a career uh, coaching uh, page teach us, and we also have another coach. Uh, he uh, t uh, taught us um, how to manage the life, college, and your personal life, and uh, like be organized, being in time with all those things, because uh, here life is different, very different. You have to be t in time, and um, there's a lot of things to be lo getting get lost. So like whole um, coaching, academic. Uh, the career, the uh, the time uh, management coaching that really helps me a lot to uh, be in college and manage my personal life at the same time. Paige, uh, finally, if people want some more information about the program or any of the events you have connected with that, is there some way they can find that? Absolutely. JVS-Boston.org um, is our website, and Bridges to College has a page on the organization website that would have all information about joining or just reaching out um, to get more information. Thank you both very much, Paige Wessel and Charmaine Nahar. Thank you so much. From JVS.